Hello everyone, this is Julia. Thank you so much for joining me on my craft room adventures. Today, I'm back with a wintry scene card on the Butterfly Reflections Inc. blog. I will link everything down below. And I'm still in a wintry mood, so I made a wintry scene card featuring the adorable uh, Frosty Winter Friends, I believe it's called. Uh, the Winter Fairies by Lawn Fawn, which I think is so cute. And I never actually like used them a lot before which is weird because I really like them so I stamped everything out onto Nina's solo white cardstock with Gina K and Malcolm ink and I'm using E40 Copic markers for my little tree house I started with E44 just to lay down some shadows I blended that out a little bit with E43 and now I'm going back in with E44 just for a little bit more depth Again, blending that out with E43. Blending that out with E41. And then going in with E40 to blend everything together. I'm going back in with E44 just to emphasize some of those shadows. Just slightly blending that out again with E43. And then E41. And then E40. <laughs> Just the same as before. For my roof, I'm also using E40 markers. I just went a shade darker, so using E47. But that still wasn't quite dark enough to give enough of a contrast between the rest of the house. So now I'm going in with E44. But after that, I will be using the E49 just for some added depth. Then blending that out with E47, E44, and E43. For my pink shades, uh, I used the those on the door, on the mushrooms, and also on the like fairy on one of the fairy dresses and accessories. I'm using E uh, R85, R83, R81, and RV triple zero, and I'm also using a little bit of BG quadruple zero on the windows. I'm using C3, uh, C5, C3, and C1. Also a little bit of C0 on the What's that called? Like a little chimney. I'm also going in with E40 markers for the hair. I'm starting with E47, then E44, and E43. For my next fairy, I'm going in a little bit lighter, so starting with E44, just adding a few little hairs. And I still have to practice a lot of hair coloring, <laughs> but I'm determined to make it work. Then going in with E41, just blending that out. Again with E43, E41 and again going in with a darker shade, E44 just to add a little bit more depth. And I'm using E44, E43, and E41 for the bases of the mushrooms. And like I said, I'm also using the R80 markers for the tops of the mushrooms. I'm using BG13 as my darkest shade for one of the dresses and some of the accessories. Because I really wanted like a pink, purple, and teal combination. Then blending that out with BG11. And finally the BG10. I'm just going in again with the BG13 just to deepen up the darkest shade a little bit more. 
And again with BG13, uh, BG11, sorry. And then again with BG10. And as my final combination for the card, I'm using violets. I'm using V17 as my darkest shade. Blending that out with V15. And then going in with V12. Then I die cut two grassy panels and I just added a tiny bit of uh, peacock feathers on the very edges and I sprayed that with the Sukineko Shimmer Spritz. Then I'm ink blending my background with Sponge Sugar, Warren Lipstick, Picked Raspberry, and Blueprint Sketch because I really wanted like a light pink to purple fade. And Blueprint Sketch is, is a blue, but it's kind of like a purplish blue. I didn't want like a stark purple. And I really like the combination of the picked raspberry fading into the blueprint sketch because it gives like a nice like purple like right where they meet so i'm just blending those colors back and forth i really wanted quite an intense like wintry sky i'm just wiping my brush off in between so i don't contaminate the other colors then I'm also going in with a little bit of the Dusty Concord because I couldn't quite get the color I wanted. I had, I kind of had a, like a specific purple kind of a color in mind, so the Dusty Concord definitely helped. And it was still not quite the purple I was looking for, so I'm going in with the Wilted Violet. And it was like layering all of those purples and the blue and everything to kind of get the color I wanted. This background actually took me a long time to make, so uh, yeah, but I really like how it turned out, so it was worth it. Now I'm just adding some Liquid Stardust splatters to the background. I die cut the Hello Bluebird birch trees because those are the only birch trees I own. Oh, actually, no. Now I have some from Sunny Studios, which are awesome. Uh, but I used those uh, because they're a bit taller and I wasn't quite sure what kind of a card I wanted to make, so I needed the taller ones. I didn't actually end up needing the taller ones, but those are the ones I went with. So just used some Copic markers, the CW... I uh, know the... Yeah, the CW... C1 and also the C3 just to add a little bit of shading to give them the appearance of birch trees because I still wanted them to be mostly white. Then I'm stamping my sentiment from the stamp set just with some VersaFine ink and I will list the color down below because right now I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. <laughs> then I'm adding, uh, I die cut the Lawn Fawn Stitch Scalloped Frames. I die cut them three times and I layered them with liquid glue and I cut my panel down to fit behind there. So I just layered that with liquid glue and now I'm also gluing down the trees. I just cut them down to fit inside the frames. And I also just used one of the stumps that I cut off just added a second piece because I didn't quite know how much would be showing so that I would have fifth tree there and as you can see the grass basically covers it right up to the edge I'm just layering both the grassy panels down with liquid glue and I made sure to uh, not glue down the edge the top edge of both so that I would be able to tuck some images behind there then I'm layering down my little mushrooms first then adding the house behind the grass so that it's kind of hidden. Gluing down the mushrooms as well. And I added foam tapes to the backs of my fairies. 
just for a little bit of dimension and now I'm just figuring out the placement. I wanted those two not like right on top of each other. Then I'm using the Dr. PH Martin's Bleed, Bleed Proof White. That's a hard word. Uh, and just a little brush to add some snow details because everything else is kind of snowed in and the mushrooms have like snow caps. But I didn't want to use like the... It, the set also comes with stamps, but I thought it would just be cute to color it. Then I'm adding the Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen in Glitter Gloss to a lot of the elements. Also bringing in my favorite Stardust Stickles. And then I'm also using the Nouveau uh, Crystal Glaze on the windows of the house. And that finishes off my card for today. I really like how it turned out. Those winter fairies are just super cute, aren't they? I it, It's still super freezing cold here, so I'm still in a wintry mood. I, I hope I can switch to spring like fairly soon, but we're not quite there yet. So I hope you don't mind my wintry cards. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will have the links to the blog post from Butterfly Reflections Inc. and also to the shop down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!